Mental health issues are on the rise, and I don't need to cite statistics. People have asked questions about whether suffering is necessary for meaningful art, even meaningful life. Nevertheless, Virginia Woolf suffered, wrote great literature, and ended her life. A big academic explanation for purposeful suffering traces back to Friedrich Nietzsche who saw the decline of religion as the start of problems with apathy, sadia, anarchism, and nihilism. Virginia Woolf was a well-to-do British woman with daddy issues. She was close to her mother, who died when Woolf was 13, and close to her brother, who died later in Woolf's life alongside her father. Still, Woolf was friends with all the ones. And her husband was the best. He supported her emotional instability and open attraction to women. He also introduced her to publishing, which took her mind off of her writing. Wolf's novels, Mrs. Dalloway and To the Lighthouse, alongside her short story, Jacob's Room, all display her writing method now deemed stream of consciousness, which is characterized by inner thoughts a focus on everyday action, and the pervasive instability or unreliability of narration. Even when a person is alive, it is difficult to diagnose their mental burdens. Many people believe Wolf's problems best fit the diagnosis of bipolar disorder. Wolf drowned herself in the... River Ooze. On tw the 28th of March, 1941. People attribute her suicide to the strain of editing her final novel, titled Between the Acts, to the devastation of the Blitz in 1941, and to the loss of several close friends. Wolf's nonfiction works, including A Room of One's Own and Three Guineas, played important roles in first wave feminism. Wolf was kind of the bridge between Mary Wollstonecraft, who claimed that women are not inferior to men, but instead lack education, Simone de Beauvoir, who argues women's oppression is based in femininity, historical and social construction as the quintessential other. Women are defined in relation to men. Not everybody has experienced great loss. Not everybody can live affluentially. Not everybody can submerge themselves in poetry, philosophy, and literature. Still. Everybody hurts. Many people have access to introspection and expression. What more can we do in memory of Virginia Woolf?